Okay, we're going to talk about item parents and customer parents. In the service program, you may notice that some areas of our software ask for an item parent or a customer parent. Right here, you can see customer parent, and right here, you're going to see item parent. Basically, parents, a customer parent would be a, an example would be Walmart. Let's say Walmart's got 30 locations in your area and you're doing work for them. You'd want to make Walmart an actual parent in the QuickBooks side, and then you create what they call job sites or sub-customers underneath that parent. If you look at the QuickBooks here, you'll notice that I have Disney here for a parent. To add a job site, you can right-click and go to Add Job. Right-click the parent, go to Add Job, give that job a name. Most of our customers will give it the physical street address. We'll just make one up. And then from there, you, could, you also want to give this job site its own special address. It will probably pull the customer parent's billing address, but you're going to want to see the physical service address so we can do work on location. When you add this address, the first line needs to be a contact person or name of the company. Second line would be the physical road address. We'll call this 755 Disney Road. And then you give it a city, state, and zip. Once you're done, you click OK. Now we have the address for our job site. Once we click OK inside QuickBooks, you'll see that this falls underneath a parent. And there's the one we just created. It's a job site. Another area that you can do this for in QuickBooks is under the item list. Here you'll see I have a parent named service, and I have two items underneath it. If I want to add another one, I can select New. Select the type of service, give it a name, and fill out any information here that's important. For example, I have to fill out an accounts payable here. From here, we now want to get this in the QuickBooks. And if you do what I just did, you'll notice that maybe that one did not show up underneath the parent. We can always get it in there by double-clicking that item and then select it's a sub item of and select what the main one is. So the parent is going to be service. And you'll see right here under service now sits that item. So we want to get that in the QuickBooks. All we have to do is click the update QuickBooks icon. You can do update customers and then update inventory. I'm going to update customers. This will just take a moment. And now when we go back to our customer list, you'll see the parent and job site. Disney is the parent, then you have the job site name. The same thing would occur if we did an update only of inventory right now. Now we're going to pull in that sub-item of the service parent. And while thinking, it just may take a moment, there we go, we'll go to our item list, and you'll notice that it just lists them here. You can select the parent along the top, and the system will sort and show you all sub-items. So in a nutshell, that's what it is. A parent is just basically the one in charge that's holding everything under it, and then you create your sub-items or sub-customers.